Hello, in this video we are going to look at the amazing regex method of search and replace. It's, the method is actually called sub, but it allows us to search and replace and you know, delete stuff within strings, which is you know really, really important. So first of all, let's just create a string. So I'm going to call it string1 equals. So what I'm going to do is put a bunch of random just characters, numbers, and all of this will become clear why I am doing this very, very soon. So we got this string right here. So what we want to do is essentially just eliminate, so sorry, imagine if we get some input from the user, we only want numbers. We want to eliminate all non-number values. You can do that by putting return I'm, I'm going to call it result actually. The return is built in keyword. We can't use that. Result equals re.sub. And we put r. So this is the pattern. And the pattern is going to be backslash d. And like I said, there's a link with the videos of regex in this series to cover the different patterns that you can use. You can do patterns to match the end of a string, to match non word characters. If you understand what we're covering here, all of the other patterns will be easy to use if you go and check out the link provided. Okay, so searching and replacing. So we're going to get rid of all digits. And what we're going to do is for this, we just put end quotation marks and we just simply pass in our string. So string one, string one. And now what we're going to do is print out result. So let's run it and see what we get. There we go. All of the extra characters have been removed. Let me show you something else. So if I were to print it, this off now like this. But instead, I've got three parameters here. So the first one is the pattern, as we've already covered. The last one is the string that we're you know, searching or replacing it. This one is essentially what we're replacing it with. Because we've got nothing there, it replaces it with nothing. If we put a space and run it, every instance, it gets replaced with a space. Sometimes there's multiple non-digit characters, so there's multiple spaces. If we wanted to replace it with, let's say, a dot for example we could easily do so there we go <laughs> now honestly that looks pretty darn hacky and cool so that's it for this video on searching and replacing you can go further you can delete stuff you can you know do all crazy sorts of stuff with the sub method feel free to have a go and i look forward to seeing you in the next video